welcome to a PS3 homebrew video. Today we're focusing on Multiman version 04.85.01. And Multiman is a multifunctional tool for the PS3 once you have custom firmware installed. It does amazing things. It can back up PS1, PS2, and PS3 games. And I'll be showing you how to do that at the end of the installation process, which isn't too difficult. It's gonna be fairly easy. This app works for most custom firmwares and I'll be displaying here on the screen. And this is coming from the brewology.com. And you wanna make sure that you are running the proper custom firmware in order for you to use this. And I'm pretty sure that it will work for most custom firmwares out there. I'm currently on 4.86 and it's like a soft kind of custom firmware so i'm looking to upgrade it here very soon i have 4.86 cex so i'm hoping to uh, adjust that and get a nicer firmware but for now that's what i'm working with and we can go and dive into this guide now the first thing we want to do is have a usb dongle and here i have a 64 gigabyte USB dongle formatted to FAT32. So make sure you properly format your USB stick for you to copy over Multiman onto your USB stick. If you don't have one, I have a link in the description down below so you can go ahead and purchase it. It will benefit the channel if you do use my uh, link in the description. It's uh, a Amazon affiliate link, so it would be much appreciated if you go buy one if you do need one but no big deal so here is our usb drive and it has 64 gigabytes so it's enough space for anything that i need to install right i created a new folder called packages and this is where i'm going to be dumping all of the stuff that i want to install on the ps3 so i recommend you guys do that that way you're not mixed up with all the different files and so on and so forth as you're growing your library of ps3 utilities and stuff and homebrew so it's nice to get started and organize all of your files right away head on over to the brewology link that's in the description down below this will take you to the multi-man from a link download and we want to download the first link here the multi-man base so let's hit that download link There we go. There is our multi-man. Let's go into properties. And this is 34.3 megabytes and it's a PKG file. So make sure that you're seeing that there. Very good. And we have our USB drive. Let's open the packages folder and we're gonna copy this right into that folder. And it's gonna take a few seconds to copy. We can close this one and we're all set so let's right click on our usb drive and eject let's try again there we go we're all set so now we can disconnect our usb drive and connect it directly to our ps3 let's head on over to our ps3 and under game open up the package manager folder and go to the install package files and go to the package directory and you will see the Multiman 04.85.01 base PKG file. So hit X and it will begin installing the 35 megabyte file. And it shouldn't take too long. And install is complete, perfect. And Multiman is now available under game. It's a little little guy with glasses so open that up real quick multiman is with you for almost 10 years installing mmcm data to internal hard drive please wait multiman is with you for almost 10 years please support it with small donation applying standard theme please wait when you first start the application there's going to be this music playing in the background and i'll show you how to remove that here go to settings and scroll all the way down go all all the way down to theme audio and let's disable that so we don't have to hear that music ever again 
and we're all set there. And this is like another PS3 interface within the PS3. It's kind of cool. But yeah, there's a lot of settings, a lot of different things you can do on here, which I'll cover in another video. We'll dive into all these different tools and all these different uh, amenities that comes with this amazing application. So the first thing we're going to be doing is installing a PS1, PS2 and PS3 games on our console. Here you can see I have Grand Theft Auto 4 already installed along with Resident Evil 5, two of my favorite games. I also have some retro games that I installed like Assault Retribution for PS1, Black for PS2, Bubs Bubs B Bubs C Bubsy 3D for PS1. I don't know. I found that game in a thrift store. And Red Faction 2. And moving on to copying our PS3, PS2, and PS1 games directly to our hard drive. And here I have Resistance 2 for the PS3. And for the most part, uh, this method that I'll be showing you is the same all across the board. So whether you're copying a PS1 game, or a PS2 game, it's going to be the same thing. And I'll be showing you how to do that. Now, here is Resistance 2. I'll be throwing this into my PS3 disk drive. So let's quit out of Multiman here. And I'll throw this disk in. So Resistance 2 automatically started. But there is the disc. I'll quit out of here. There is our Resistance 2 disc. Right there. And let's launch Multiman once again. Okay, here we are in Multiman. There is Resistance 2. Hit Triangle. Go down to Create ISO. There it is. And we have the option to save it directly to our hard drive or using an external. Uh, drive we can do it on the USB or an external hard drive if you do have one plugged in via USB connection Which I probably will do here very soon But yeah ps3 hard drive. Let's press X and it will begin creating the ISO image Obviously, it's going to take some time to copy the ISO image to your hard drive So it's all going to depend on what kind of game you're trying to copy over uh, for example, a uh, PS1 game for me took around like 7 to 10 minutes. And PS2 games was like 20 minutes. And PS3 games took a lot of time. Uh, the Grand Theft Auto uh, 4 took about roughly 40 to 50 minutes to copy. It wasn't too bad. So I'm on my PC. I'm probably just going to jump on like League of Legends or something. Play a couple of ARAM games. Come back to this and my ISO will be created. So we're gonna finalize this video and show you how it runs once it's finished. And we'll be back here in a few seconds. We are finally at the end of copying our game to our PS3. And we have 10 seconds left. Very, very good. So this did take 40 minutes, not too bad. But here it is, ISO image saved as resistance2.iso. And it took around 43 minutes and 46 seconds at 8.57 megabytes per second. So we're looking at 22,000 megabytes. That's close to 22 gigabytes or close to 23 gigabytes actually with 22.5. Not too bad. And there we go. Now at the bottom of your list here, you will see Resistance 2 with the little disc icon there. Press triangle and we have some options to load the game there or extract the ISO. So let's eject our disc. Here is Resistance 2. There is the disc. Very nice. And go down to the copied ISO and press X and we will load up the game. And what Multiman will do is going to prepare the ISO and kick you back to the XMB. And from there you can start the game. It's going to say formatted disk, but it should be resistance 2. 
Let's go up, and there it is. Sometimes it will say formatted disc. I don't know why. Sometimes it, it does say that for like some of my PS1 games. But uh, for the most part, you should see, you know, the wallpaper or whatever video that plays uh, in the thumbnail there. But yeah, go ahead and start the game. And it should be running flawlessly. This and follow me. We have to find a way inside the base. Sweet. So there's my weapon. And it's looking good so far. Really like how well it's performing. I'm going to lower the audio there just a little bit. So here we are in Resistance 2. Finally, we cut through all the, the uh, cinematics there. And the cinematics look really good. Tactical lesson we learned from yeah. the camera. Okay, let's exit out of here. Back in Multiman, scroll over to Retro. And down here, you'll find your PS1 and PS2 games. And that is how you install Multiman for the PS3 that's running custom firmware. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out with the whole YouTube algorithm. And that way, others can find this video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this and many others coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.